today's episode, an animal lover ventures over to a pond where an alligator lay by the shoreline, hoping to snap a few pictures of the deadly beast. As she approaches the massive gator, she is warned to get away from it. Seconds before, she is snatched by the gator and pulled into the water. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the terrifying alligator attack on Cynthia Covert. Welcome to Final Affliction. Wild animals are always fascinating. From rare species of birds to the sight of a truly magnificent beast such as a lion, there is simply something that captures our attention with these creatures and has us wanting to know more about them. However, there are some animals that fascinate us more than others. And what could be more intriguing than a creature which has changed very little since prehistoric times? With their razor-sharp teeth and almost prehistoric-like eyes, alligators truly are one of the world's most wondrous creatures. But much like their ancestors before them, they are also incredibly dangerous, something Cynthia Covert failed to realize. 58-year-old Cynthia Covert lived in Johns Island in South Carolina in the United States of America. She was a nail artist and had worked in her profession for many years. The woman loved to spend her days gossiping with her clients over the latest celebrity news or offering them advice for any problems that they might have been facing. Overall, it seemed like Cynthia was living a fairly normal life with a fairly normal routine which she found comfort in. However, in 2020, something happened worldwide which no one was prepared for. A virus spread through the world, causing chaos in its wake, which led to people all over the world finding themselves suddenly uprooted from their normal daily routine and thrust into unknown circumstances, which left them feeling unsure of what to do next. Sadly, Cynthia was one of these people who suddenly found herself unemployed. Because a health crisis was declared, her salon was forced to shut its doors, and Cynthia was left with no source of income and with no clue when her salon would be able to open up again. Deciding that she wasn't going to simply sit around and wait for all of her savings to run out, Cynthia began to see some of her clients in their own homes. She thought that it would be a good way to earn a little bit of money whilst maintaining a form of social distancing. One of her clients was a woman named Barbara Howell, who lived on Kiawa Island. The sea islands of which Kiawa and John's Islands are a part of are a chain of tidal and barrier islands on the Atlantic Ocean coast off of the southeastern United States. Being a series of various sized islands and being located near to the ocean, this means that there are various different animals which inhabit the waterways between each piece of land. One of these animals is the American alligator. This animal is the only crocodilian native to South Carolina. They can live up to 60 years and can grow over 13 feet in length. It was once listed as a federally endangered species due to hunting and encroachment onto their habitat. However, populations have rebounded and the alligator's status has been upgraded from endangered to threatened. In fact, Populations of alligators in South Carolina have done so well in terms of increasing their numbers that officials decided to instigate a hunting season back in 2008 to try and keep the population under control. On the day that Cynthia went to Barbara's house to do her nails for her, there was one of these alligators resting in the pond in the backyard of the home. Thinking nothing of it at first, Cynthia and her clients settled down on the porch in the backyard where the nail artist began to do her job and shape Barbara's nails the way that she wanted them. However, from the very moment that Cynthia walked through the front door, Barbara felt as if there was something off with the woman's behavior. The 58-year-old woman seemed to be very talkative that particular day, and she was acting a bit strange as well. Barbara then went on to clarify that, usually, Cynthia would act very professionally whilst she was at the salon. But when she turned up to her home that day, the woman was acting very relaxed and excited as she told Barbara all about her boyfriend and how he was traveling from Tennessee to visit her. Whilst doing Barbara's nails, Cynthia also had a glass of wine, although Barbara couldn't be sure if the woman had potentially consumed a stronger substance before turning up at her home as she simply thought that Cynthia's behavior was too out of the ordinary for her to be completely sober. However, seeing as the nail artist hadn't done anything besides talk a bit more than usual, 
Barbara decided to carry on with her appointment, under the impression that Cynthia would simply go back home once she was done and hopefully sleep off whatever was affecting her. However, little did Barbara know what would actually happen only moments later. After finishing off her client's nails, Cynthia once again looked over to the pond, only to notice that the alligator was still there. She became fascinated with the creature and decided that she wanted to get a closer look at it. So, whilst Barbara cleaned up the porch from the remnants of her nail appointment, Cynthia began walking over to where the alligator was resting in the pond. The 58-year-old took out her phone and began taking photos of the animal, trying to get the best possible image that she could. With every picture that Cynthia took, she inched ever closer to the alligator and the edge of the pond. Upon noticing where her friend had disappeared off to and how close to the dangerous animal she had gotten, Barbara quickly called out to her to back away from the alligator, as it had snatched a deer from the exact spot that she was standing only a few days previously. Scoffing, Cynthia apparently replied to Barbara, telling her that she wasn't a deer, before the nail artist then tried to touch the deadly reptile. In the next few moments, everything seemed to happen in a blur. Having seen what Cynthia was about to do, Barbara's husband had charged out of the house to try and grab the woman before it was too late. However, within seconds, the alligator had turned and snapped its jaws around Cynthia's left leg and had begun to drag her into the pond. Shocked at what was happening, Barbara had let out a horrified scream. However, oddly, Cynthia apparently didn't make a sound even as the alligator dragged her into the water and clamped down on her leg. Hearing the commotion, one of Barbara's neighbors ran over to the house to see what was going on. Upon witnessing the scene, the neighbor then grabbed a rope from his house which he threw into the pond for Cynthia to grab a hold of. By this point, the woman was waist deep in the water and, as she held onto the rope which her friends were using to try and pull her to safety, she apparently spoke in a calm manner. I guess I won't do this again. Sadly, try as they might, Barbara, her husband, and the neighbor simply weren't strong enough to break the alligator's hold on Cynthia's leg. Then, once the reptile was far enough out into the pond, it began going into a death roll. This is a maneuver in which a crocodile or alligator rolls over with its prey in its jaws to bring its prey underwater and drown it. With nothing else that they could do, Barbara called the emergency services. Within a few minutes, police deputies and firefighters arrived at Barbara's home where they charged into the backyard in order to help in any way that they could. Initially, they saw no movement in the water from either the alligator or Cynthia. But after about 15 minutes, Cynthia's body resurfaced with the alligator still holding on to her leg. Thinking quickly, one of the deputies shot the alligator, forcing it to release Cynthia. She was then quickly pulled to shore where, thankfully, emergency service workers were able to see that her body was intact. However, she did have severe injuries to her left leg. By this time, paramedics had also arrived at the scene and quickly whisked Cynthia away to the hospital. Sadly, she was declared dead shortly after arriving at the hospital, with the initial cause of death being drowning. This sadly marked the third alligator-related death to have happened in South Carolina within four years. And whilst it is not known exactly why Cynthia was acting so strange that day and why she decided to approach a known deadly animal, her passing was still a tragedy which greatly upset those who knew and loved her. It's important to remember that it is better to appreciate nature from a safe distance as a wild animal could attack without notice, which could result in severe injury or, in the worst case scenario, meeting your terrifying final affliction.